Hi crafty friends, welcome to my channel, Cindy here with Treeline Studios. Today I'm doing a video on diamond painting game changers. I wish I had known uh, when I had started diamond painting. So a little bit of background story, I actually tried my very first diamond painting kit, I want to say like two years ago, um, and I knew nothing about it, I didn't watch any videos, um, I did like a little square and lost interest because it was very tedious. Um, and back at the time, I don't know, I just didn't try further. So now, um, fast forward to present day, I want to say about a month ago, um, somehow I decided to give it a try again. I ordered a smaller kit. I watched some YouTube videos. I kind of played around certain things and I found certain things that really make the diamond painting experience uh, more enjoyable and less annoying so you can really relax. So I figured today I'd share um, some of those game changers with you. Okay, first and foremost, the storage for the drills or the diamonds is the most important. Um, that two years ago time, I didn't really know much about storage, so I just worked out of the bags that it came with, those little um, those little uh, loud crinkly bags like these where you can't reseal. So I literally was like cutting them open and then taping them back up and changing and so it took me probably like a really really long time to do one little square so I had no idea about storing them and kitting them up so a very popular storage system is this one right here which is the Elizabeth Ward system um so there's different versions of it but this is the one that comes with like all the little tiny ones and then they do have like kind of bigger um size uh storage containers too so in this way you can be really organized so this kit um let's see this one's my dreamer designs one and that brand they do come like a legend comes on a sticker so it's very easy to just kind of cut it up and then you put the corresponding color on the storage okay um same thing with my other kit i'm working on um i want to say diamond art club also comes with a sticker uh that you can cut up easily but if not you can um do something else which i will get into later Okay, so very important. So this way, you know, whether you're doing it uh, a section at a time or by color, just this really helps organize it so you can kind of easily pick up what you need, work on it, go right back. Okay, so you're not just wasting time opening and closing bags. So this is one of the storage systems that's really popular. I like this and I will link that um, Amazon link in the uh, description for this video. And here's another uh, example of it. This one I got on Amazon as well. And this one I like because it comes, it's like a little carrying case with a handle. And these are a little different in that these are um, screw open ones. So, but same idea. You can just kind of cut up your little um, legend there and stick on top. And this one's actually in uh, numerical order by DMC color. So that's another way. And I'll link this in the description as well. So that's number one. Some people do work out of um, the little baggies like these, you know, and you just put the little sticker on there too. I mean, you could do it that way too. Just, I would say, you know, make sure you have some sort of, I don't know, like box that's easy to kind of flip through them easily so it's organized. So that will make your uh, diamond painting experience much more enjoyable and less wasted time kind of like fiddling through um, the bags that they come in. Next thing uh, is like a comfortable diamond painting pen so as you probably know um all the kits they come with what you need to start but just you know these little enhancements are really what's going to make it um more enjoyable so this one is one of the ones that you're familiar with probably these little pink really thin pens that come with the kit you can put a little squishy or grip that helps a little bit but really if you plan on doing diamond painting for a little bit or a long time invest in a good um diamond painting pen so these are some good ones that i like they're a little thicker. Um, let's see. I think this one's from Amazon. And then these are from um, the Etsy seller Diamond Painting Pen Pal. Um, really nice. Like this one has like a little flat edge. So it actually makes it more comfortable to grip. And also then it doesn't roll off. Okay. Whereas these, you know, they roll. But still, if you have like a three-placer or six-placer or whatnot, it doesn't really roll that much and fall off and shatter or anything. So definitely I would invest in a comfortable diamond painting, painting pen. Okay, the next thing is, so these are like the 
standard uh, boats that come with most of diamond painting kits. So they're kind of small. So I feel if you invest in a bigger one, especially when you're doing like one color that has a lot, this will save you a lot of time in the end. Um, so you don't have to keep dumping it out, shaking it out. This just, you know, you'll have more and more lines of multi, um, uh, multiple drills so you can pick up with your six or nine placer. So this one, I got a, I think like a package of 10 or something from Amazon. These two are like 3D printed that I got from Etsy, which pretty easy to find, but I'll link uh, the sellers for that too. Okay, next item. Uh, let's see, what do I have to number four? So there's a lot of different um, adhesives you can use to put in your diamond painting pens. Um, some people like the blue wax. Some people like the, um, what is it, like the sticky tack uh, or patty wax or... Um, I think that might be it, but there must be other things out there that people use. So I had, I think, read on like a Facebook group or something about these glue dots, which let me zoom in. So these are really my go-to right now. You know, so I've tried like the blue wax. I've tried patty wax, which I gave up on a little bit. I mean, it's good too, but I don't know. And then I tried the, um, the blue tack too, which was good, although I kept... I don't know, I, did, I probably didn't fiddle around with it enough. Like, I kept having too much of it, so then it would get stuck on the uh, diamond. But these little glue dots, so I don't know if you can see. They're, like, really, really tiny little glue dots. So you just put it into your, um, your tip. I think I did, like, two or three into the single placer, and I was able to use it for a really long time, like, without having to replenish it. So this was definitely a game changer for me as well. And you get, you know, this package has, let's see how many are in here, uh, 325 dots on a roll. So if you're using two to three per time and you're, you're good with it for a little bit, that's going to last you a really, really long time. I have yet to try this in a multi-placer, but I'd imagine it would work too, maybe, to be determined. Okay, um, the other game changers, I'm going to have to stop and uh, bring you to my uh, living room to show you that. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, the next thing that's a huge game changer is one of these uh, desks that you can tilt the table so it doesn't hurt your um, back or your neck. Um, this one I decided to invest in because as you know, <laughs> diamond painting uh, the canvases, the bigger it is, the nicer it looks. So I have a lot of huge ones um, that I own and a lot on the way. Um, before I invested in this desk, I actually bought, uh, one of those like cookbook prop things that are like 20 to 30 bucks. And, you know, obviously it's much smaller. You can tilt it. So I was using that, which was better than just working on a flat table. But, um, you know, these huge canvases would be kind of like falling off of it. So I did end up investing in this. This one I got on Amazon, which I'll link in the description as well. Um, but maybe check like the local Hobby Lobby or Michael's or like an art store. Maybe you can get, um, hopefully a better deal. Um, even just like an easel would be the same idea. Um, I went for this one, which was a little more pricey because it was glass and then also, um, it's foldable. Um, especially right now, like my house situation, I don't have a huge amount of space. So I did want something that I could fold and put away, uh, if I wanted to. So this one was a little more pricey. Uh, I want to say it was like 170 or something like that. But I've seen other ones that are maybe closer to 100 that are um, not foldable but to store away. But at least, you know, you have the tilting table and everything. So um, this definitely has decreased my amount of neck and back pain. Um, and of course, you know, make sure you, you sit in a comfortable chair as well. So since it is tilted then too, another thing related to that that would be useful is actually this little sticky mat, um, which I'll show you. Let's see. So like this. So it's really sticky on both sides. It's like a silicone material, I want to say. Um, you can get these on Amazon too, which I'll link in the description. So you just stick it on onto your cover sheet. Oops, I'm losing my painting here. And stick your tray and with your diamonds on it. And that way, you know, it'll be there um, right next to you as you work on your painting. So you don't have to hold it or anything. So that has been really helpful too. Um, and then if you're like me and you work on your um, diamond painting at nighttime and it's darker and it's really hard to see the symbols, of course, a light pad is really useful. So let me go in here. So there we go. I can move it in. 
So yeah, the light pad lights up from underneath. Um, I would recommend getting one of the ones that you can kind of adjust the the light settings. So this one has three settings. I want to see. I want to say. So this one's the brightest, the dimmest, medium. So that really helps, especially if you're working at night, to help you see. Um, and then another thing, um, kind of going back to what I was talking about. So with the kitting up. So if your kit comes with um, a legend that's not on a sticker, um, just like a, or inventory sheet, I should say, on a piece of printed paper. This Xyron, um, sticker maker is really useful. So you would just cut up your little legend, you stick it in here and you pull it out and it makes it into a sticker. So that's really, really useful. Um, that kit I showed before, the one that was in the black case actually was one of the ones that, um, had a, a paper legend that wasn't, um, a sticker already. So I used this to make those little labels. So that saves a lot of time as well so that you don't have to like write the numbers and try to draw out the symbols um, when you're kidding up. Um, I think that's it for now. I hope this was really helpful. I know um, just thinking back on all these little things, this has really been, you know, really made my diamond painting experience much more um, <clears throat> enjoyable. Um, feel free to leave a comment if any of these uh, have been a game changer for you or if you have any other game changers um, as well that I didn't mention in the video. And of course, if you have any questions, all right. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.